With the Montana Folk Festival expected to bring tens of thousands of people to Butte, the sound of cash registers ringing up will be music to the ears of many local businesses. Two years ago, you made me cry, and uh, you're not going to be able to do that this year. I'm very happy. It's coming back. The free three-day music festival had been going strong in Butte since 2008, before it was sidelined by COVID-19. We haven't had it for a few years, and now that it's back, we're starting to see an influx of people already starting to come into Butte. It's, it's been amazing. It just The energy uptown just feels vibrant. Many local business owners say they rely on this festival and the summer tourism season to keep them in the black. And it's something that we come to count on um, as we hire uh, local employees. We hire extra people during this time period as well. The economic impact of the Folk Festival is significant. The event brings about 150,000 people to Butte and between eight to $10 million to the local economy and somewhere between 25 and $30 million to the state economy. Hopefully their pockets are full of money and they feel grateful that the, there's no admission and they go spend it in local businesses. The past two years without the festival was a challenging time for Butte businesses. It was pretty, it was pretty heartbreaking, it, you know, in the beginning, you know, to um, just, it was like a ghost town up here. And, and that was pretty scary. I think in the end, those of us who were able to stick it out actually, you know, have become better business people because of it. And business should be good for the festival, which begins Friday and runs through Sunday. Impute John Amy, MTN News.